As we all know, Doug and Jeff landed on Mars way before NASA. Everyone believes that NASA was first to Mars, but this video proves them wrong. Hey Doug, have you seen the photos that the NASA high-rise camera sent back from the planet Mars? Yes, Jeff, I have, absolutely. I'm an enthusiast with this Mars program. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? It is, it is. Yeah, let, let's take a look at some photos here. I've got a, a couple of them here. See that? Yeah, it looks I've a seen lot that. like the Mojave Desert with the boulders and yeah, like the planet Earth. Yeah, and there's another here, one. Here's another one. Oh, that's the Mars rover there. Right, that's been lodged against that big rock here for about uh, two years now, Jeff. Uh, right. I guess they can't figure out the reverse yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the software, they're too... updating it, I guess. It needs a new update. Right. Oh, and here's another one. Uh -huh. uh, that's pretty cool. It's got trees just like on planet Earth. So yeah. we have a lot of similarities, it looks like, between yes, Mars and planet Earth. Yeah. Here's another picture. Here's one. What, what is that thing in the distance there, Doug? That outcrop? What is that? Well, let's uh, zoom it in here, Jeff, 3,000 times. Okay. And look at this picture from NASA. Oh, my gosh. A yep. 7 11? I couldn't believe it either. They got a 7 11 on Mars? Yep. Oh, my gosh. It looks like it's a new one, too, because if you look through the windows there, you see the shelves are in there, the counter right there. Well, they got it's uh, a machine, the ice machine. Right. It's uh, they're bringing all the supplies uh, in the next week. They've got a few electrical problems they got to figure out yet. But when uh, NASA was there that day, and I'll show you on this next picture here, what we captured uh, an employee being hired. Uh, You're kidding. Is, yep. Here he is. Oh wow! Is That's that, an employee for 7-Eleven. Yeah. Well, it must be. He's got that coat on. You know, the 7-Eleven oh. coat. So. Uh, That's true. They were able to communicate with these Martians now, and you know they have the same thing in this 7-Eleven as we do on our 7-Elevens. You know, like the chips and the Slurpees, and uh, you name it, Jeff. They have wow. it. Wow. So, uh, but what what is the biggest selling product on Mars? I wonder. So. Uh, oh, that'd be a good question. What was it? You know. Well, here's what NASA found out, folks. It's a Mars bar. <laughs> a Mars bar. It's well, only right. In fact, being it's only right. We're going to see you on the other side here after this little tidbit. You betcha. Years after Doug and Jeff went to Mars, NASA celebrates that they finally got there. Woohoo! Woohoo! Hey Doug, hey Michael, how you doing guys? Hey Jeff! Hey Doug, did you see on the news the other day that NASA made another Mars landing? Jeff, I sure did. And, uh, you know, they're treating it like it's something special. Yeah, well, what, what do you mean? Well, I guess they're being so giddy about this little Mars Insight probe yeah. that they totally forgot that the Doug and Jeff show organized a Mars landing four years ago. Mike was there. That's right, we did. Yeah. I mean, we spent a lot of time, a lot of your money, Jeff, a lot of energy to fly Michael and Carl up there, who sent back a lot of great historic photos of life on Mars. You know, Doug, it was so long ago, I forgot. What evidence did we get that we got their photos on Mars? Let me take this one, Doug. As I remember, our team proved there was life on Mars with a thriving economy, a bustling urban area with quaint suburban neighborhoods, a solid school system, Police department, EMTs, and a library. They even have I Love Lucy on Mars television. Michael even interviewed a Martian employee at a local 7 Eleven. Yeah, that's right. I remember. Michael even got a free Slurpee and a bag of Doritos. Yeah, but our team had to hightail it out of there right after that when we ran into a hostile Martian mob right behind the 7 Eleven. In fact, it was touch and go there for a minute. Doug, you know, we should call NASA and refresh their memories about who landed there first. Boy, that's a good idea, Jeff. Uh, let's yeah. see. Hello? 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 No answer, Doug? No, no answer. I guess they're too busy patting themselves on the back to pick up the phone. Yeah, but, you know, we could outdo them. 
We could go to Venus for that. You actually weigh less on Venus. On Venus? Than you do on Earth. You're probably wondering how I know that, you guys, aren't you? No. Hey. No, not really. We could go there and we could. Yeah, that's not a good idea. I'll call him later, Jeff. All right.